Now we solve a lot of problems with generating functions because we're interested in their coefficients. And if this is going to be a useful method, there needs to be a way to extract the coefficients when you have some complicated algebraic expression that defines a generating function. Um, well, there's lots of ways to do that, but let's look at a particular way which comes about by using the convolution rule in reverse. That is, we're going to realize that some algebraic expression is describing a process that we know how to count already, and that will enable us to figure out what its coefficients are. In particular, we're going to be looking at the most important example uh, for us, uh, which is getting the coefficients by a counting argument and the convolution rule. And here's uh, the example that we've seen early on of counting donuts. What's the generating function for selecting donuts of a given flavor? Suppose I have two flavors. The generating function, well, for, let's start off with chocolate and vanilla, but look at chocolate in isolation first. The generating function for the number of ways to pick n chocolate donuts is only one way, so it's the geometric series 1 over 1 minus x. Okay? Now, likewise, the generating function for the number of ways to select Vanilla donuts is also 1 over 1 minus x. And by the convolution principle, that means that the generating function for the number of ways to select a mix of chocolate and vanilla donuts, um, and n of them, is their product d chocolate times d vanilla, or 1 over 1 minus x squared. All right? So by the same reasoning, if I'm going to select uh, n donuts and I have a k possible flavors of donuts, then uh, the generating function for that is the product of the generating functions for selecting each of the k flavors separately. And the product of them then is 1 over 1 minus x to the k. So now we come to this question is of what is the coefficient of x to the n in the generating function for 1 over 1 minus x to the k? Well, by the convolution counting rule, that coefficient is exactly the number of ways to select um, uh, n donuts with k flavors. And we know the answer to that because we worked it out when we were doing counting arguments. It is uh, n, minus k, uh, n plus k minus 1 choose n. With the, remember, we, we, the way we solve that is we take n zeros and sprinkle in k minus 1 ones to delimit uh, the numbers of different of the k different flavors. And those possible bit sequences of n zeros and k minus 1 ones is exactly the number of selections of n donuts among k different flavors. And there are n plus 1, n plus k minus 1 choose n of them. So uh, that's cool. By a counting argument without doing any algebra or derivatives or other methods, we have just figured out that the coefficient of x to the n in the uh, infinite series that's equal to 1 over 1 minus x to the k is this binomial coefficient that we knew already. And restating it in our, in our coefficient notation, the coefficient of x to the n in the generating function 1 over 1 minus x to the kth power is n plus k minus 1 choose n. Well, let's go back to the bags of fruit problem that we considered earlier, where we had um, uh, to select a bag of n fruits, uh, bananas, apples, and oranges, subject to con some constraints. Uh, and we had figured out there, in a separate way, that the generating function for the number of ways to pick bags of fruits was 1 over 1 minus x squared. And just checking our general formula against the case when k equals 2, sure enough, the coefficient of x to the n of f of x, the number of ways to select n, n fruits, uh, a bag of n fruits, is n plus 2 minus 1 over n, or n plus 1 ways, which we already saw in the earlier video using another method to find the coefficient of 1 over 1 minus x squared. Now, one more case that we're going to need that's worth considering is suppose that I replace x by alpha x uh, in this generating function. So the coefficient was this, uh, the coefficient of x to the n was this uh, uh, n minus k plus 1 choose n. Now, when I replace x by alpha x, the coefficient doesn't change. Uh, sorry, the, the, the binomial coefficient part of the coefficient doesn't change, but suddenly x to the n becomes alpha x to the nth power, which means that the new coefficient of x to the n when I replace x by alpha x is alpha to the n times x to the n. So the coefficient of 1 over 1 minus alpha x to the kth power is n plus k minus 1 choose n 
times alpha to the n. And that is going to be a key fact, which is worth remembering, because it will enable us to handle uh, partial fractions and rational function generating functions in generality. So again, reading this, the coefficient of x to the n in 1 over 1 minus alpha x to the kth power is n plus k minus 1 choose n times alpha to the n.